In this video, we'll be learning about the keyword super. What if we wanted to simply add functionality to a method defined in our super class instead of overriding the method and writing new logic? We've actually seen super used before. In viewcontroller.m, we see super view did load. In this case, we implement the functionality from the method view did load defined in the UI view controller class. After that, we add our own functionality to the method. Let's try adding on to a method's functionality ourselves using our super classes implementation of the method first. This will allow our method to woof, then whimper, then give us puppy eyes. So let's navigate to mbfpuppy.m and inside of the bark method we're going to add a line of code that says super bark. And this line of code calls the bark message on our super class which implements it differently. If that class does not implement super, then it continues up our class hierarchy until it find, finds one that does. If none do, then we get a crash. So let's go ahead and run our application. And notice that the dog woofs, then whimpers, and then gives us puppy eyes. Perfect. Implementing super classes impl methods is something that is quite common when developing for iOS and thus is really good to know. 